Hi and welcome back to another look behind the scenes of the development of Operation Flashpoint Dragon Rising. Today we're going to be looking at, or rather listening to, audio. Audio plays a massive part in Operation Flashpoint. The sounds in Operation Flashpoint are, are very authentic. Uh, we've strived to record every vehicle and every weapon in the game. We know how passionate people are about the game and how passionate people are about the sounds of the game. Audio element really enhances the visual aspect of Flashpoint. We've got all sorts of different ambiences that really immerse the player in the world and visuals are just one part of that. Audio plays a very big part as well. For example, when you're walking through a forest, patrolling a forest, you, you get ambient bird song and the guys have actually gone out and found um, the animals that inhabit that part of the world to make sure it's authentic. Silence can be just as important as terrific noises. As you're moving through forests, you hear the audio, you hear the crack of twigs, etc. But as well as that, some of the vehicles that we have, you can even identify what they are just from the sound that they're making. We're allowed to mic up these tanks and vehicles with many mics just to get every intricate detail of doors opening, closing, engines, interior sounds of these vehicles moving, all of which you'll hear in the game. We use audio as a tool in Flashpoint. It lets you know that you're under fire. It lets you know where the fire's coming from. Audio plays a vital role within every mission in Operation Flashpoint. It's really important to dictate the mood of what's going on, whether you're hearing very long distance gunfire and combat to know where a particularly large engagement's happening, or whether you're using it to cue in where the enemy are located for Spec Ops missions. Artillery is one area where the audio really helps the visual aspect of the game. When artillery shells land across the valley, you actually get the sound delay, so you'll see the flash, you'll see the explosion, and then we model the speed of sound, so the actual shockwave and shake as the base kind of hits you from the explosion. The sounds that we place within missions really do aid the player to find their way through the missions. They're going to know where a key installation is that the enemy have because they can hear it from a distance away. They're going to know where quiet areas are away from forces because they can hear crickets chirping. In Flashpoint we use audio to really enhance uh, the immersion the player gets from being in certain situations. So when they enter a building, gunshots feel louder, um, explosions sound more muffled if they're happening outside. When someone's firing at you from 500 metres away or 1,000 metres away, it's an actual asset of that weapon being fired at that distance. It's not trickery. There's no filtering or EQ being applied. We went to the Marines Production Assistance Office specifically to make sure that what we had matched Marine procedures and Marine conduct so that we had a very genuine feel of how Marines actually talk. We have different stress states for your squad speech. So, for example, if you're under fire, your squad will use a loud, clear voice to project their orders. If you're in a stealth mode, your guys will be whispering, and it'll be a forced whisper. One of the best feelings in, in Flashpoint, and, and the one that gives you the fear the most, is hearing the bullets whiz and snap past your head and hit the brick wall in the background and smash a window and hit the stairs and zing off it. These things really make you panic and it was one of the most important things to get in to Flashpoint. We think that when you start coming under fire and the PLA start really suppressing you, you're not going to want to put your head up over those sandbags because one of those bullets could tag you and that'll be it. <laughs> 